Hello, 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 and welcome back to another exciting episode of The Noodle Kitchen. Today, oh yes, the colour red, the colour of danger, four peppers, that means it's spicy. Yep, this is tongarashi me, noodles, noodles, red pepper noodle s, noodles. Um, I can't actually read this out, but, um, yeah, it's like spicy seafood. Spicy seafood. Kyo wa nan kara. What spice today? Um, and you can adjust the spice with the powder. Um, according to the top, this is spice strength, big spice, very spicy. Um, so you've got my focus, you've got, uh, very mild, you've got mid spice, spicy, very spicy, and crazy spicy. This one's done in three minutes. There's the powder sachet. Um, it's new. There's a picture of Pac-Man dying. There's a bloke wearing a chili. This is very interesting. Now, I'm usually good with hot food, but I don't usually go for hot food. So, hmm, hmm, what should I do? I'm going to put it all in for you guys today. I'm going to put all of the spice in. Because you want to see the, the spice ceiling on these bad boys, don't you? Um, let's have a look at it. So, it, it's from Nishin, our friends at Nishin. Um, this one was just over 100 yen. This is cheaper than the standard cup noodles, which sit around 130 yen. This one's more like 110 yen. So it's a little cheaper. Um, not much more to say. Packaging looks like there's quite a variety of ingredients. This is seafood. Um, gosh, I should have a look at it on camera. Apparently it has prawn in, apparently it has chicken, pork, and beef, and squid, and soy, and oh, it's got lots in it that'll kill you. I don't know what kanyi is. Well, it's got lots that'll kill you. Um, yeah, but it's primarily seafood, so I'm going to go and make this. Be right back. I forgot to look inside. So before we make it, let's look inside. Oh, it's very red. Yep, there's flakes of presumably squid and those horrible fish sticky things, which they're in the seafood cup noodle, which I don't like. It's not as good as the standard cup noodle. There seems to be egg in there, some green onions. Very, very red. Let's give it a huff. It's seafoody. It doesn't smell particularly spicy, but that's because we haven't added the flavor packet. Light change. Right, we're going to make this. And of course, the preamble. We're going to review this completely unpimped, nothing added, nothing taken away. And I'm going to rate it on a few pieces of criteria. Taste, texture, and tummy feel. Simple. It's simple. Um, I should have checked when to add the flavour sachet. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh, 950 Scovilles. Oh, this is going to hurt. Well, I suffer for your enjoyment. I should be right back. I've just opened the packet, ran it. It smells of spicy death, like dried uh, chili. I'm going to add it now and see what happens. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's a lot of spice. What's your spice today? Something that'll send me to the funeral parlor. Brilliant. Wish me luck. I'm just going to wait a couple more minutes for that. Right, it's been three minutes now. Oh, Jesus. I just put my tongue in the packet of the special Scoville spice. 
um, and it hurt. It really hurt. So this is going to be painful. I've had one ultra spicy cup noodle once before back in the UK. Never had it again because it was too spicy. Um, so I'm going to... Because it's sort of all mixed together into a giant globule. Let's try, let's try the separate ingredients as usual. So the fish stick thing. Just disintegrated. Doesn't taste of anything. Taste a bit of spice. All right. Um, potential squid thing. Hmm, I don't know what that is. Some vague fishy taste. Not bad. Right, the red noodles. Here we go. Just a slight taste. I'm going to go and eat this in the other room. Hmm. It does taste very heavily of like a, just a spiced flavor. Um, it's very pleasant. Yeah. I, I, I wish I could describe it better. Let's have a sip. Oh God, it, it's, it tastes how it smells. It's just spicy. Taste some of the egg. Oh, the egg's good. It's absorbed a lot of that spice. Yeah. It's kind of just a one-note spice flavor um, in preliminary testing, but I'm going to go finish it and see how the whole thing tastes. Taking my glasses off because it is hot. Wow. So, just finished. Well, just finished. I left some water in there because it's just a little too spicy with all the spicing powder in. It's both less spicy and more spicy than I first imagined. And I shall tell you for why. The spice seems to be entirely localized within the soup. Um, it didn't soak into the noodles, it didn't adhere to the noodles at all. Um, well, it did a little bit. Or maybe if you let it, let it sit for a little longer, that might be better. But I've ended up with this sort of, throughout eating it, wasn't very spicy. And then after drinking some of the soup, it's killed me. Um, I'm in a not insubstantial amount of pain. Uh, so that was nice. Probably one of the spices, yeah, spiciest things I've had in Japan. Uh, gosh, it's good. It is good. I would, if the spice dies down in time, I might finish it. Um, let's move on to taste. So the squid flakes were actually very nice. They had a good texture. The fish sticks, um, good taste. Yeah, a little bit. They sort of disintegrated, and uh, yeah, the taste was very minimal. But it was enough to kind of add to the spite to the flavor of this, despite the quite overpowering spice. Um, and bear in mind, we are working with a lower price point here. Um, I think the flavor was excellent, actually. Because the noodles and the spice were very one note, It's that's the only thing bringing it down, really, and just the slight boringness of the fishy stick things. So it's an eight on taste. Only two things to knock it down there. Texture, nothing to complain about other than the, those fish sticky things, which, as I said, disintegrated. Um, everything else had good texture. There was perhaps, it was perhaps slightly lacking in texture, but no much more than some of the other ones we've had. So I think it's it's a nine on texture. Yeah, it's a nine on texture. And finally, tummy feel. Well, I didn't manage to finish it. And the spice hasn't destroyed my stomach yet. Oh, there's another piece. I'm going to have that. So um, it's a 10 on tummy feel. Gosh, you're looking behind the, the curtain at the reviewing process.
That was a bit of um, a bit of squid. Very nice. Yeah. So there are the scores. It was a good one. Um, too spicy for me to have again. I'd probably end up using half the packet and then half the seasoning packet and then using that to season something else. So I might get it again on, on those grounds. But yeah, in my by my estimation, if you are looking for a spicy noodle, look no further. Um, really, there was nothing that I disliked about this. There were just things that took away from its score. So fully recommended at a lower price point. Our friends from Nishin have done it again with the Tongarashi noodles. So, that's it. I'm fresh out of noodles now, so the next one is a mystery to me. Please, come again next time. Oh, I just finished it. Bad day, bad day, bad day, bad day, bad day. Oh, no! shit. Well, that's that ruined. Bye.